you've got an ugly lawn that's filled with dead grass and weeds, this is the video for you because I'm going to show you how to transform a lawn like this into something like this. But you can get it done in only three steps if you know how. Each of these steps is actually easy to do. It's affordable and you can totally do the job yourself. But the biggest surprise is that you're not gonna kill off your existing lawn, you're not gonna dig it up, and you're not going to add any soil and you will get a great result. When is the best time to start your lawn renovation? And the answer is easy. It's going to be fall. Fall has cooler weather. You tend to get more rainfall. And most importantly, you'll get less competition from weeds. Now here in New England, I like to start my renovations the first week of September. But you can start them a little bit later or earlier. And of course, you can adjust this if you live in different parts of the country. Step one, we've got to kill the weeds in your existing lawn. Now you might be thinking, who cares? My lawn doesn't even look good or all I've got is weeds and I won't have anything left. Well, it doesn't matter either way because we've got to get rid of those weeds to make room for the new grass to grow. But the bigger surprise is you've got grass in between those weeds that can't grow because it's being smothered. So if we could kill just the weeds, we'd make room for the new grass and we'd save the little bit of grass that you've got. But killing weeds is hard to do, right? Well, it is if you're using the wrong product. And the best tip I can give you is to use what the pros do. There's a product called Tenacity that is the best weed killer on the market because it actually kills the weeds but leaves the grass behind. So you can use this as a critical part of your renovation, but you'll also use this in the future to take care of any weeds that might pop up. Tenacity is the key to getting rid of these weeds in your lawn so that you can have a great looking space. But it is a professional product and you do need to mix it differently than other products on the market. So to help, I've made a video that I've linked in the upper right hand corner to make that job easy. Tenacity only works on cool season types of grasses. So I've put up a graphic here to help you figure out which type of grass you have. Now if you're in the transition zone, you want to make sure that you've got a cool season type of turf before you use Tenacity. And if you've got warm season grass, check my description and I've put some other great choices to help you with your weed control. After you spray Tenacity, this is your result. Now the weed still looks okay, but you'll notice it's beginning to turn white after about five days. But then we get to around seven to 10 days, you're gonna to start to notice spots like this. Now these white patches don't look great, and you might have a lot of them if you sprayed for a lot of weeds, because it means those weeds are on the way out and they're literally being starved to death. You don't have to do anything else to these. You don't have to dig them up, touch them at all. You've completed step one. And in about three weeks, they'll be totally disintegrated and they'll make plenty of room for your new grass to grow. Now we're ready to move on to our next step, but you wanna wait at least two days after spraying Tenacity to allow it to work its way into the weed. For step two, we're going to use a professional secret to get our lawn ready. We're going to aerate our lawn. Now aeration involves a machine like this that's specially designed to poke holes into your dirt. Now that does a number of great things for your lawn, but if you're going to renovate your lawn, it's even better because those holes are gonna act like little planters for our brand new grass seed. But additionally, this machine will roughen up the dirt just a little bit, and that also helps your grass seed take hold. But the main reason you wanna do it this way is because it's the least amount of work. Aerators in the old days were very difficult to use and they could wear you out quick. But fortunately, the new models that they get at rental shops are so much better to operate. If you want to know more about using an aerator, I have a more detailed video that I've linked in the upper right hand corner. Aerating most lawns takes between two and three hours and once you're done, you can immediately move to your third step. Now we're onto the best part of the project, planting our new grass seed. Now you want to do this as close to aerating the lawn as possible so those holes are wide open and ready to accept the seed. For this step, you're going to need a lawn spreader and you'll also need grass seed. I've tried many different kinds of grass seed and I've had very different results. The other issue is I want to be able to get the same seed every year because if you mix all different brands and types, you're going to get all types of different things growing and you'll kind of have a lawn that's like a patchwork quilt. So I recommend getting a good brand and sticking with it. I highly recommend the Jonathan Green brand of grass seed. You can get it nationally, even some retailers, but also places like Amazon. But I like their Black Beauty Ultra. I've just found that it germinates really well and the grass looks great. And as a general guide, you're gonna to wanna to put down about two and a half pounds of grass seed for every thousand square feet of lawn. Now many people will just buy a 25 pound bag or a 50 pound bag and get the job done. 
Going to complete step three and help your new grass grow, you want to put down a fertilizer. But don't just use any fertilizer, you want what's called a starter fertilizer. Now I use fertilizer products from the Andersons because they're affordable and they really work well. This is their starter fertilizer that's designed to not burn your grass, but it also will help with root development and this is really critical. You want to put that starter fertilizer down either the same day or within a week of planting your grass seed to make sure it gets into the ground. You've now completed the three steps for a successful lawn renovation, but you're not quite done. You do need to take care of your lawn to make sure that the grass will grow. And that all begins with watering. Now in the fall, things are going to be more damp anyway and you'll probably get some rain. But if not, you want to make sure that you're keeping your seed moist. And what that really means is that you're going to water the grass probably once or twice a day. My next tip is actually going to give you time back. Don't mow your lawn for at least four weeks. Now I know you're thinking your existing lawn is going to be so long. It doesn't really matter. The lawn is not going to grow beyond about six to eight inches. And when you mow it the first time, it'll still look fantastic. The goal is to let those new seedlings grow as undisturbed as possible. And it might seem hard to believe, but that's it. The lawn you see in this video was renovated exactly as I showed you, and it worked for me, and I know it can work for you. Now, there are a lot of other ways to do this, but most of them are a lot more work. This way gets the job done, it's cheaper and easier, and gives you a great looking lawn, which is what we're all looking for. So, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.